It's a story that began with serious concern but ended up being a heartwarming moment as a fire department in the east went beyond the call of duty to help a missing elderly South Carolina man. West Carteret Fire and EMS says the family of 82 year old Paul Violette said that he'd been missing for several hours before crews found the Aiken South Carolina man in the east about three hours away from his intended destination this past Sunday. Thankfully, Violette was reunited with his family on Monday. But his time spent with the West Carteret Fire and EMS crew was memorable. Jalen Holloway has more. When Captain Dustin Clapp and the West Carteret Fire and EMS crew responded to a single vehicle wreck around 9 p.m. Sunday night, he says they didn't expect to arrive on scene to an elderly man inside by himself. It, something just wasn't quite adding up. Uh, the gentleman was adamant on sleeping in his truck. Clapp says they began talking to the man later identified as 82 year old Paul Violette, who was in a truck on 1402 Highway 58 North in the Pelletier area. Clapp says the man seemed confused about where he was, which led to a collective decision to bring him and his truck back to the fire station. So we're able to use a little bit of persuasion and uh, talk him into coming back to the firehouse with us. Captain Clapp says that once Violette was brought back here to the station, they made sure to treat him as their own as they gave him a nice meal and allowed him to stay here overnight. Clapp says after searching the man's truck and belongings while he was asleep, they found out who he was and that he was from Aiken, South Carolina, who'd been reported missing for hours. And looking at the timeline and able to look at his GPS, we realized that he was pretty far away from work where he should have been. Clapp says it appeared that Violette was headed to Shalote, North Carolina. While speaking with the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, Clapp says he was finally able to connect with Violette's family. And we were able to make contact with his family, spoke to his wife and his son, and uh, they were very, very grateful that we found him. Clapp says they were glad to take Violette home to his family Monday morning, but appreciated his company despite the scary situation. Got up the next morning, Took him to Bojangles, said he never had Bojangles before, uh, fed him really well. That was my grandpa or my dad or any of our crew's family, um, their, their grandparents or father or any of their loved ones. Uh, we would want somebody to do that for us. Reporting in Carteret County, Jalen Holloway, WITN News. And Clapp says on top of taking care of Violette, they made him an honorary crew member for the day.